a school counselor's training conducted by Digital Foundation under its Men of Honor program was attended by 20 teachers from around schools in Morabe province. Requested by the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Papua New Guinea, the training aimed to help teachers identify signs of alcohol and drug abuse and the best way to treat and monitor the concerned individuals. During that time, Men of Honor program manager Stanley Bakere emphasized on confidentiality throughout the sessions and the need to establish trust with the student. The training is very informative. Uh, it has taught us a lot of insights as how to, uh, for myself, I'm not a trained counselor, I do career, career guidance. That means I just check the students on their care, uh, guidance, on their assessment, marks and all this, but with learning this, now I know I can approach uh, using these skills to help the student better in terms of counseling. Buni, who has been the guidance and counseling head of department since 2018, alluded to the issue of alcohol and drug abuse in the community, saying the training has helped them to find better ways to approach the situation using a set of questioning techniques. From there, they can determine whether that is the only issue or if there are other underlying factors that are pushing the student to resort to alcohol and drug abuse. Every parent that sends a child to a school comes from different uh, family background, uh, different uh, culture, and we need to know more about the approaches that we take so that we can be able to handle in a proper way so that we are able to develop this child to become a good citizen of our nation. So it is very important for every teacher to be part of it. Kamila Guare, TV One News.